Short kick, live ball, scooped at the 15 by Josh Jacobs. And he is tackled short of the 25-yard line. When he's on the field, it's must-watch television. Big reason why he's the Heisman front runner through the month of September. Off play action, Tua dumps it off to the tight end Irv Smith, and it's a first down past the 40. Smith stays in bounds, and how about this? This has happened to Arkansas all year. Whether it's on the opening kickoff or on the opening play, they give up a touchdown. 76 yards. Alabama scored on its first play. Arkansas on its third play. Story has a completion out to the 43. It's a first down. And Grayson Gunter, a third string tight end, able to make the catch. They're so talented. It's just, are they, are they playing complete just yet? Story over the middle to Austin Cantrell. He's got another Arkansas first down. It's good that my headset was working. You would have had to call that. <laughs> in the dirt on the snap, Story in trouble. And the ball is ripped loose, and it's picked up by Alabama. It's recovered by Isaiah Bugs. Forced by Quinn and Williams. On second and 14, Tua to Smith again. He had the touchdown on the first play from scrimmage, and he's still going on this one. He coughs the ball up. It's recovered by Alabama, and it's a touchdown for Henry Ruggs. Trying to turn this program around. They've lost seven straight games against FBS opponents and a broken play here on the first play of this drive. Dylan Moses eats alive tie story. We all know that Jalen Hurts is a tremendous athlete, but he can improve as a passer and actually has this year in a lot of ways. Hurts going to run it again. A huge lane. Hurts pass midfield and finally run out of play at the 44-yard line. 27-yard run. It's nice to see him get involved early while the game is still yet to be decided. Damian Harris, another huge gap, and he's to the 31, a 13-yard pickup. I, I really, I mean this. I would take him in the first round of the NFL draft. He's that explosive, and he really translates to today's NFL with the way he can catch it. Tonga by low off play action, goes back to Harris now, who breaks a tackle. And finally pushed out of play, but after another first down and a gain of 13 to the 18-yard line. Josh Jacobs in the backfield on second and 10 now. Play fake for Tua, rolling out, and Tua completes it to Judy inside the five. It's another Alabama first down. Jerry Judy, a team high, 20 catches. They're a two to four run uh, play team, and that's it. Jacobs again into the end zone, touchdown Alabama, and it's 20 nothing already. Aquan Davis was expected to be the bell cow up front. He hasn't really been himself. The first five games of the year, he's been a little up and down. I know they want to see his production ramp up. Story lobs it downfield for Boyd. And Boyd lowers the shoulder on Deontay Thompson. Has Ty Story been dynamic enough at quarterback to hold it long term? Probably not, but... He's the best option they have at this point. O'Grady on the tight end screen. It's a first down inside the Bama 40. This is the second time that Story has moved the team into Alabama territory. Is it arrogance or them just saying, we got to try because <laughs> the, it's not like the perimeter's easy either. Here's a strike by Story, a first down. Deion Stewart inside the 25. It's a 16-yard gain. Again, that negative play on first downs killed Arkansas all season. Story off play action. He's got O'Grady inside the 10. It's first and goal for Arkansas. Rubs if you're an <laughs> offensive guy, picks if you're a defensive guy. <laughs> Story, end zone again, and this time he hits his tight end O'Grady. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And one of the best in the country on third down as well. Tua is going to throw it. Now flushed out of the pocket. Trying to get to the first down marker. He's pushed out. It's going to be close. They'll mark him short. At the 43, Dijon Harris chasing down to a Tonga by Loa. Alabama going for it on fourth down and one. Going to hand it to Damian Harris, and he gets stood up. He didn't get it. Harris was there first for the Razorbacks. We didn't take good pursuit angles on the first play, so Arkansas is probably thinking to themselves, we're in this, man. And a huge running lane for Boyd. 
inside the 10 and then hit out of bounds at the six yard line a 32 yard run so Chase Hayden in the game here first and goal for Arkansas the quarterback keeps it and Story fumbles the ball and Alabama's Thompson recovers it a turnover on the goal line Quinnen Williams forced it Thompson with the recovery Wow second takeaway for Alabama's defense this drive starts short of their one yard line Harris past the five yard line and Harris drags a defender past the line to gain to a throws here and it's a dart rugs on the catch out to the 33 picking up 21 yards so in two plays they move it out to the 33 yard line keep an eye on number eight Josh Jacobs who's working out here to the right hand side yep leaving the backfield Tonga by low wide open is Judy into Arkansas territory they can't get him down they finally blow it dead 18 yard pickup they usually try to take the top off the defense and run one of these speedy wide receivers way downfield and here's Najee Harris falls forward to the 42 yard line. It's a gain of seven or Harris who's from the Bay Area and the ball came out and it was recovered by Arkansas coming out of there with it was Ramirez that's what they have to determine the ball is the ball is wiggling it looks like it's moving before Najee Harris's backside hits the turf so the call on the field would likely stand after video review the runner's right elbow was on the ground prior to the ball coming out but it was second down and so no targeting they were looking Tonga Bailoa slides up goes deep for Judy on the money touchdown Alabama what a throw by Tua perfectly tossed to Judy for his seven touchdown but uh, Jonah Williams a little too strong on the high five yeah. after the celebration who knows or the Keep flicking of the it. wrist on the touchdown pass <laughs> I mean, it didn't, other than that, it didn't see much what a year he's had though Tonga Bailoa wide open out of the backfield is Hayden for Arkansas first down as the Razorbacks continue to get some chunk plays on this Alabama defense guys is this a reason for, is this Alabama having weaknesses on defense or just complacency because you're playing an Arkansas team that's one and four answer that after this play story going deep and it's pulled in at the 20 yard line by Deion Stewart against Trayvon Diggs for 37 yards but for the most part I mean it's just Arkansas making a couple key plays Story's thrown for 170 yards in this game as uh, boy, boy, it was kind of an awkward uh, play there, and a penalty flag is down. Offside in the neutral zone at the snap number 14. His penalty is declined. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Number 99 of the offense. Give Chad Morris credit for making the in-game change. Here he is again. Oh, it was a jump pass version, and it's a dart for a touchdown to O'Grady. This is a very underrated venue. It gets really loud in here. And they get fired up when Alabama comes to town. Harris, good balance, puts his hand down and gets out to the 33 yard line. Let's uh, listen in to what Nick Saban had to say this week about the Alabama student section. Uh, and me personally, I think it ought to be first come, first serve. And if they don't want to come to the games, they don't have to come. But I'm sure there's enough people around here to like to go to the games and we'd like for them to come too because they support the players. Harris gets the first down. Guys, is this really about the student section? It's definitely a way to kind of speak to his team through the media. He does it all the time and usually doesn't take the most direct route, but there it was pretty obvious. Oh, my goodness. Damian Harris given a lane between the tackles that he could have driven a bus through, and he's out to the 40 for 18 yards. Let's get it going here. That's what they say before each drive. And you know what's coming off that play action and two off. Oh. Going up high to make the catch is the true freshman Jalen Waddle. First down in the red zone. Adnan, take it away. Sophomore went to the same school in Hawaii as Marcus Mariota. Mariota was a mentor of Tua's. And he throws a strike inside the five to Waddle. It's another Alabama first down. 
You can never be right, and you can never guess against Alabama. They have every package you could imagine. Harris straight ahead, touchdown, Bama. <laughs> but he did say, yeah, we, we can stop ourselves. Yeah. Well, Nick told us last night he's not real thrilled with the specialists, and Bulovus misses the extra point. He had missed three field goals this year coming in. But they were placing a lot of key pieces and a lot of veteran leadership on that defensive side, and they've been pretty solid in the first month. Pressure on Story, and he was trying to throw it to his back. Now look at the head coach, Dan Mullen. Man, he has a way about getting his team ready to play in big environments. Tonga by Loa, off play action, Judy wide open, trying to outrun the defense, he might do it. Inside the 20-yard line, they won't catch him. Touchdown tie, 60 yards. Story rolling out, and it's incomplete, going to be fourth down. Tom, uh, I'll ask you the same question yeah. I did, Greg. And they're just going to run it here. Jacobs up to the 42-yard line. Will Alabama snap it one more time, or is that it? Inside 10 seconds to go, and that's it. Another impressive showing by Nick Saban's offense. 41 first-half points. 463 yards in the first half against an SEC team on the road. and get some toughness back in your run game on the ground and push people around. Story steps up in the pocket, and it's juggled, but caught for a first down. That's a group that needs to continue to improve as the season goes along. Third and seven, Story in trouble. Gets out of there. And takes a shot from Carter, but looks like he got a first down. There is a flag down. And Arkansas will go for it down 41-14. Don't blame them. They need to play conservative at this point. And Story's going to pitch it to Boyd, and he will not get it. Dropped in the backfield by Isaiah Bugs. As Alabama won Nick Saban's fifth national championship at Alabama, second in the last three years. Here's Damian Harris breaking free. Finally brought down at the 26-yard line. If there's a receiver open, he almost always finds him. Just doesn't pass up completions. He's been so good this year. Another huge hole for Damian Harris. And a fist fight with the DBs at the 10, and Harris wins that one down to the 7, first and goal. No, it's interesting, guys. If you look at Tua Tungavaloa. I gotta say, Mariota was special, but Tua appears to be the same. Harris on third down and did not get in. Three men in the backfield. Fourth if you include two. Up over the top is Harris and he did not get in. The nose of the football to break the plane. This play is now under video review. It looks like it did oh, yeah. from that first angle. After video to review, the ball did break. Yeah, there you the, go. The goal line plane, it is a touchdown. Seemed pretty obvious. So Damian Harris into the end zone for the second time today. Major Ogilvy. You read about this team, right? I, I was not alive. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, of course, if you go to Alabama, you must know the history. Juggled by O'Grady. Then he hangs on. There's a flag in the backfield. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number 92 the defense. And Arkansas and Alabama territory, where they've been a handful of times in this game, and look at the running lane for Hayden. Whacked at the 33, but after a 17-yard run, they've been able to move the ball. And breaks on it. So explosive at safety. Off play action. Catch made by Petway, brought down by Sertan. They've had so many good safeties at Alabama. They bring in the 260-pound quarterback, Cole Kelly, to run it here on third down. And he's able to stretch forward and move the chains. The two things, you got to play in space, you got to deal with a mobile quarterback, and actually a third, and that is have to deal with not substituting. 
Pressure off the edge on third down. Story gets rid of it to Boyd. And look at Boyd fumble the ball. It's recovered by Froholt, but uh, not afraid of contact there, Boyd. That should have been a, a first down. That's roughing the passer. I know it's not a traditional throwing posture, but he's releasing the football, and you hit him in the face. And the field goal is good by Connor Limpert. 48-17, Alabama late third. Does uh, Notre Dame win, or does Virginia Tech pull the upset? I like Notre Dame. No running room that time. Harris sticks Jacobs for a loss at the 31. They yep. can win with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. It just Tua takes him to another level. They did. Hurts with a completion. Here's the ovation that uh, Jalen Hurts got when he played his fifth game, which means he's staying. He doesn't need a bunch of more starts to prove that he's capable for NFL scouts. Hurts, and it's complete to Waddle for a first down on third and seven. But he feels like playing here at Alabama is the best place where he'll be surrounded by the most talent and have great coaching in order to become a better player this season. Devontae Smith shoved out with uh, 12 seconds left to go in the quarter. I mean, and how do you score 50 against an Alabama defense that is genuinely, I mean, one of the more talented teams in the country. Hurts on third and goal. Everybody covered. Hurts getting outside the pocket. And it's incomplete. Nice play that time on the pass intended for Waddle. Kevin Richardson. 27-yard attempt by Bullivis. And it's good. 51-17. But for the most part, another pretty solid performance against an offense that has a nice plan for him. Rakeem Boyd, who's looked really good running the ball, gain of nine. The kicking game has not been what they wanted it to be. They've been susceptible to big plays because they've struggled to tackle in space with some of their youth in the secondary. And, and that's part of growing up in the secondary, learning how to break down. And I'm not real confident in Missouri's defense being able to hold these receivers and Tua Tonga by low end check. So things are looking very bright for Ben. Here's an interception by Shaheen Carter trying to run it back. And he will for the fourth defensive touchdown for the Tide in 2018. One of four touchdown passes. It started as a pass, therefore it ends as a pass, even though there was a fumble and a recovery. Here's Jordan Jones. Greg, right down that fumble that. by uh, Irv Smith so we can get that to coach, please. And Nick yeah. Saban was complaining about the Alabama fans. Chad Morris may have a beef with that T-shirt right there. <laughs> he didn't come out here to have fun. Coaches don't have fun anyway. Winning's fun. Yeah. But he is a great offensive mind, and it's going to be a tough test to get this program going again. Boy, I like the way he plays. Not afraid to stick his hand in there and stiff arm Savion Smith. Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, our ABC Prime game. We got Kentucky on the road at Texas A&M. Kentucky ranked higher than Michigan in football as a story runs out of bounds after getting the first down. So I know Penn State lost last week, but they had every chance to win it. So, yeah, there's a lot still left on the vine for Michigan. Story on the rollout. Nice throw. Touchdown catch. Debbie on Warren. It's amazing. Jalen Hurts hands it off to Najee Harris, and Harris is close to a first down. Uh, hey. Two Bama receivers, Tom, have yeah. uh, 100 yards today. It's the seventh time Bama in school history has had two guys in the same game with 100 yards. Handle it the way those two guys have? Well, they have. I mean, those guys have been just so happy for one another's success, too. And that's really infectious. I mean, in a day and age where a lot of players, for one reason or another, whether it's a good reason or not, bail when things get tough. You know what? I'm going to get elite coaching here with Dan Enos, my quarterback coach. I'm going to play with great players around me. I might not start, but I'm going to get enough reps to have a productive season. Harris breaks a tackle and then pushed out of bounds inside the 23-yard line. And I said I was really impressed with how he came in in the national championship game and filled in for Jonah Williams, who was really struggling but got hurt and had to leave the game. And Brent Key said that moment is what made Jonah Williams the player he is this year because Jonah saw it. And Mac Jones is a, is a quality player. So you see why Kentucky's gotten better in their recruiting efforts. Robinson into the end zone. Alabama has scored over 60 again. In fact, this is a new season high. 
in book. You know what you're going to get. Now you can lean heavily on those running backs and that offensive line that's still moving people around. And Warren deciding to return this one. And Warren takes off. Kicker to beat. And Warren beat him. They finally catch up to him. Nigel Knott brings him down to the 22. Just for the record, when you get a single digit number and you're on the defensive line, that usually means you're pretty good. That's and a, you're a that's freshman. A, <laughs> and you're a freshman. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. So it's a guy to keep an eye on. Good job by Story there, man. Huh? To, to avoid a sack and then on the run, complete the pass. Might not be the most talented team. Not going to win today. Didn't win last week. Didn't win the week before. But, man, they're playing hard. And that's got to be happy as well. Cole Kelly in the game at quarterback and the 258 pounder. It's Pater, and that's 30 points for Arkansas. Can Nick Fitzgerald make some things happen offensively? He's had a disappointing year so far. But Alabama offensively has been anything but disappointing. Nick Saban's team has been dominant. Another blowout win for the Crimson Tide.